I have an update for you guys on the Polestar 5, over 800 horsepower. Let's get into it. Polestar 5 electric four-door GT to debut exclusive new Polestar electric powertrain. Uh, if you missed my previous video I made yesterday, should be going live today. Anyways, talked about the Polestar 2, 3, 4, and 5. We've got a little bit more details about the power numbers here. 884 horsepower and uh, 900 newton meters of torque. All new 800 volt architecture. Well, who else is using 800 volt? Well, Porsche, the Koreans. So it's, it's nothing crazy new, but that is the future. Definitely 800 volt. If we go to the spreadsheet here, converting uh, 900 newton meters of torque is 663 pound feet so they're definitely going more for horsepower than torque on these motors uh which is totally fine too much torque of instant torque especially the electric cars might not be the best thing for the tires and stability of the vehicle so having more horsepower might be a better thing the horsepower is almost instant as well with electric motors and keep in mind that the polestar 5 has a two-speed motor so 884 horsepower still 0 to 60 probably in the mid or low two seconds we know it's going to have a 103 kilowatt hour battery range is my estimation at around 340 miles now, if you live in the UK, you can go ahead and see this vehicle as well as others. I hear the Lexus uh, sports battery concept is there as well, but I haven't heard anything from the Lexus press room on it. Anyways, the 2022 Goodwood Festival of Speed is a 23rd to 26th if you're in the UK. So you can check out not only these cars, but a ton of other amazing cars coming out. P. Allen of UK R&D for Polestar says that Polestar 5 or PS5 is shaping up to be superb four-door GT and a true Polestar heart. You got to keep in mind they're designing this car to compete against the Taycan, the different variants of the Taycan, as well as the Panamera. The platform combines low volume performance car attributes with modern technological advances to bring lightweight, high rigidity sports car chassis technology into mass production. So this has a unique bonded aluminum chassis, a prime factor in delivering the vehicle dynamics signature to create a driving experience that is desirable as the design. So in Sweden, they're developing this top of the line powertrain. A new rear electric motor will provide superior output along with 800 volt architecture. Combined with a high output front electric motor, the complete dual motor powertrain aims to deliver 884 horsepower. The PS5 will run up iconic Goodwood Hill twice daily during the event in the First Glance group. The car is planned to launch in 2024 and is the third of three new EVs expected to be launched by Polestar in the coming three years. So I mentioned early 2024. Is that possible? Actually, it's probably late 2024 is the reveal. I have the Polestar 4 on my mind. So Polestar 3 announced in October should be available in spring or should I say Q1 2023. Polestar 4 should be available Q1 of 2024 and Polestar 5 probably Q1 of 2025. If you missed yesterday's video, um, the Polestar 5 is on its own whole new platform not shared with the Polestar 4 or the new Polestar 3 coming out this year or and being announced later this year. And this should underpin future Polestar vehicles in the future. And the only other Polestar vehicle that we know of is the O2 concept. So more than likely that will share this new Polestar 5 platform as well. These are just my guesses at the pricing. And I just have this as a hypothetical because they talk about this P10 motor being a rear motor, but they said it can be put into different packages, meaning it's not exclusive to this platform. That motor could probably slot into a Polestar 4 or Polestar 3 as well. I don't know what would be keeping them from putting it in the front axle as well to power the front wheels uh, for a Polestar 5 performance, but I mean, 1200 horsepower might just not be realistic or safe for the average population. I mean, is 800 horsepower? No, absolutely not. But I welcome it and I welcome it with open arms over 800 horsepower. Anyways, just wanted to wrap that up for you guys. Are you excited about all the Polestar vehicles? It starts with the Polestar 3 this year later. So definitely stay tuned. I will update you guys on that and definitely check out my Polestar 2 review that I did a couple of weeks back. Check you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you haven't. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves. And as always, peace out.